we go. I've got two Bible dictionaries here that um, the great resource to have. I picked. I got this one yesterday. As you can see, it's an older one. It's a 1960s copy. And this one's a newer one. So this is the Ungers Bible Dictionary. Like I said, it's a 1960... There we go, copyright 1960. If you're looking for Bible Dictionaries, this would be, I think, one of the best ones you can get. It is a sewn, it is sewn as well, so it's quite well made. Especially being an older one. I'm not sure about the newer ones. They go new, the new Ungers Bible Dictionary, but I'm not quite sure on um, if they're sewn or not. But as you can see, we got all the information at the front. And then the key to, to to pronunciations as well, which also helps when we start into A. You have maps all through here. You've got all these nice little black and white pictures. And yeah, I know the new ones are actually coloured, but I actually prefer the black and white ones actually. So it's just a normal dictionary. I, I do, it's got a few extra things in here. It's got like a Jewish calendar, and there's a few pages on that. On your calendar. And it's also got family um, trees and stuff in here as well, like your family register. And this one's of David's family. So you've got some nice photos. And you've also got maps, which also helps. And you've got some actual photographs. And then you have the drawings. And this one you have, this is Harold. His family tree. So you've got a few in here. I mean, and here you've got the... Jerusalem, it's the Jordan Valley. It gives you the measurements. So it's quite a it's quite a good dictionary this one. I did have I do have a couple of other ones, but they were they were really they weren't as definitely nowhere near as good as this one. So I'll be handing those ones to some people that don't have don't have a dictionary. I'll be giving them those and I'll be keeping this one for myself because this one's really good. Would have come in handy about a week or so ago. I didn't have a computer so it was in getting repaired. Had a few problems with it so once you lose your computer for your studies it makes things a bit hard unless you have hard copy so I'm glad now I have a hard copy of this. And also then you've got this one here, the American Dictionary of the English Language by Noah Webster, 1828. Uh, this one is, I think it's sewn, it lies flat so I'm presuming it is sewn, it sort of looks like it's sewn. You got a little bit about him and about the resource of the, of the book, of this dictionary. It is quite a large, large, large dictionary too. And you've got the introduction to it all at the front, English language, goes into that. And here you've got the, the actual text. Now it's a good size print this. So it's not, it's not a little print. So, um, yeah, I would say that it'd have to be about a nine and these, the headings would be about a 10. So it's a good size print. This is only just a photocopy of the actual of it. So, so these will help you out with any arcade works that you can't find in the, that you don't know in the King James Bible. So. This is actually a great tool and a helpful tool as well. It goes through the whole alphabet in this. It's, like I said, it's quite a large book. But if you have Esau on your computer, you can actually get this for free on Esau. But then some people don't have computers either, so 
So sometimes a hard copy is a good idea. I mean, I like my hard copies because, like I said last week, no computer. And this came in handy, and a couple of my other reference books also came in handy. Sorry about the helicopter overhead. And it's got a good size print on it, so you can have a look at it. And pretty or much not much at the beginning of the end of it. Just no extra pages or anything for notes, and I think that not that you have to do that, but yeah. It is a nice size. It's pretty big and it's heavy. I mean, this is a good size. This would be about the size of your note taker. Your note taker Bible. And yeah, this one's the size of maybe maybe a large print. Maybe a large print um King James. But definitely thicker. This is like maybe three inches thick. This is about two inches thick. So there your size. Alright. Well there's my review on two dictionaries I hope this helps you so like I said they're great resources I picked this one up for ten dollars and I think American you can get this one for around forty dollars so, thanks for watching God bless